Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to have a vlog and I went to Paris, Barcelona and Madrid during the Christmas break so I'm very excited to actually show you everything that we did and I did add something new <laughs> to my collection, most of you have seen it so if you're interested in a little vlog and an unboxing, let's get into it If you're not on my channel, welcome. My name is Lou and I make videos about handbag shoes, traveling but mainly handbags and we love them here. So if you like them too, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so this is like the third time that I tried to film this video because I've been having so many issues in terms of audio. So I don't know if the audio is gonna be good on this one. The last one that I filmed had absolutely no audio at all. So, oh my gosh, I just hope this one works out. I've been so stressed and I have so so many things to talk with you guys so this is how the video is gonna go I'm gonna show you guys for the ones that are new here that are probably not interested that much on the vlog I'm gonna show you what I got and why I got it and everything then I'm gonna talk about the itinerary that we followed for the trip in case you were wondering how it was of course how COVID and the steps that we had to take in order to make the trip because Europe has restrictions and requirements for you to travel so first I'm gonna do the unboxing and well it's not really an unboxing because I've been wearing the item for a while now if you follow me on Instagram I'm gonna leave my Instagram here in case you want to check it out you guys know what it is and I will explain to you a little bit about the trip and the rest I will explain after the vlog section so this is not gonna be an unboxing it's more like a reveal because the items are used one is from Cartier and I did get something so I finally got the thin jug ring and a little bit of a story or a, I hope that it helps you I got this one while we were in Paris and I kind of started using it once we left Paris to Barcelona because the trip was first Paris then Barcelona then Madrid so when I went to the store I asked for the ring in size 52 because it's the exact same size as my love ring that you can see that I have right here so I tried it on and it fitted perfectly fine but now I can feel that it's a little bit big like it doesn't fall off it's just it comes off easy you know but it, it doesn't fall it doesn't fall I promise so just so you have it in mind please go a size down from the love mine both are in the thin version so I don't know if that has anything to do with it probably yeah and I should have gone with size 51 I mean there's no issue I, I'm already quite used to wearing it because I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it's completely fine I really really love it if you want a review between the love and the juke please let me know because I would love to make that video but if you have any specific questions regarding the rings please leave it in the comments so I know what to address on the video I got it in yellow gold and it's beautiful for me I need to do my nails it's dog overdue but I've been super busy but I mean it's been super comfortable I really really love it I I'm very happy that I finally have it rings for me lately have been a little bit of an obsession I used to not even care about getting my nails done and now I really care about it it's a big part of my day and my self-esteem or at least my mood because I feel a little bit more put together when I have my nails done and well, really love my rings. I see them all the time. It's a little bit more different than when you have necklaces because necklaces and earrings, you don't see them that much because they are on yourself unless you see yourself on the mirror. But the rings and bracelets, you see them all the time and it kind of, like it's a mood booster, you know? I really enjoy wearing them and so far, I love it. You're gonna see a little bit of the clips at the store the day that we bought them and I'll, there's a little bit of shopping on the vlog too. And the other item that I got was a uh, remote I check in the large size specifically because when I travel I take a lot with me especially in winter because coats take so much space on a luggage so so I much rather have a large luggage than run out of space. And the reason why I got it is because I love so much my Fendi Remova and I really felt the difference between Remova and Samsonite in terms of how comfortable it is to roll it around. Then when I was carrying my carry-on and then the big luggage that I had, I still have it, but I did feel the difference. So I decided to just invest on better luggage and I went and got the Remova, super happy with it. It already has a ton of scratches I know that it's gonna happen. I don't care that much. I understand that you may be a little bit turned off by this. They do have these covers, but I mean, it's a piece of luggage. It's meant to be worn like that. And they did tell me to go for the hard one, the 
I think it's aluminium instead of the plastic one because I saw a green one that was to die for it was super pretty but I decided to go with that one love it I definitely feel like it's worth it if you travel a lot and handle all of them by yourself because of course my boyfriend has his own luggage so yeah those are the two things that I got from the trip but of course my favorite one is gonna be the ring I really like it and I love the way that it looks like the love and the joke here I initially wanted to use it on this finger on this one but I kind of prefer it here now in terms of a vlog it's not really a vlog because I don't talk on it much just because I didn't really think that it was gonna be that hard to vlog on a family trip I went to the trip with Polo's family Polo is my boyfriend we've been together for six years and I have a very good and strong relationship with his family of course his little sister Geraldine she turned 15 you have seen her plenty of times on my videos and most of all on my Instagram because she sometimes stays here with us on her vacations she just likes to be here with us and she's like my little sister we watch movies um I know her since she was eight so this was her first time going to Europe while well, she was not like seven years old like last time she was like seven she never went to Paris before so we wanted to do all the basics like go up to the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre basically do everything that you need to check on the list once you go to Paris so if that's something that you're gonna feel that it's helpful this vlog is gonna be fun it's also very family so you're gonna see us like laughing eating drinking a lot of wine going shopping going shopping not specifically for me but for her she got her first designer bag so I just want you guys to know that she's not like very very spoiled or anything like this was her first real like Europe trip and she got her first designer bag which you're gonna see she also got a perfume and she did get something from Tiffany so I just want you guys to know the context of the video now I tried to vlog I promise but every time that I was talking I didn't realize that everyone else was talking in the background now I'm not gonna tell everyone to stop talking just because I'm vlogging so I took the executive decision to just film and put really cute music on the background and just enjoy the trip and not really stress about it that much I've had so much going on during the past few months that I just decided that it was going to be the easiest for me and for everyone else and of course I asked them if I could put the clips on this vlog and they said yes so you're gonna see me walking behind pretty much everyone because Polo and his dad they walk really really fast so it's basically the rest of us trying to catch up while taking in the views and after the vlog I'm gonna explain a little bit more on detail about the trip so I hope that you guys enjoy what I put together would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till the morning light so we're gonna go up the Eiffel Tower because uh, we have done this before but Geraldine hasn't since it's her first time so we're gonna go up and sorry if you cannot hear me because we cannot not wear the masks so I'm not sure how the sound is going to be on the video but yeah look at this Are you turn away I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss
safe tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the moon is Oh, I just want a coffee What? <laughs> I have a steak, please. This is going to the vlog, I don't know that. <laughs> Yeah. 
like the video as I said it's a little bit different I've not done this before but we had a ton of fun um, this was I would say my first proper family trip with his family we've gone to other places before but this time we went for two weeks straight now talking about the schedule we went to Paris for five days we did spend New Year's there and due to COVID there there was like nothing for New Year so we basically just went at night we saw the Eiffel Tower and then we had dinner I don't 
don't remember. I think it was Pia de Cochon. Let me check up the name of the restaurant because I don't remember, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. So we went to have dinner there and we did meet with some of Paulo's friends that we know from his school, like his childhood friends. Geraldine got her first bag, that it was the Toy Lulu. You can see on the video that pretty much the guys are the ones always having an opinion about the bag. It's really funny how Polo and Polo's dad were always like, no, I like better the beige one, no, but the black one. And Polo was like, no, 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 the beige is gonna get color transfer, so please get the black one. And Polo's mom and me were just like, just whatever you like, um, it's fine. <laughs> so I don't know, I just find it really funny how the guys were the ones who had a very strong opinion about the bag. And also Polo's mom got her book tote and she got the Grey of Lake small book tote. She was, I think, influenced by me because she did see mine and she really liked it. She used it a couple of times and I, I don't know, I just think that it's something that she's gonna use a lot. If you're gonna ask what did Polo get, um, he basically didn't want anything. It's really funny because he's very hard to gift him something. So I tried to give him one of the Louis Vuitton's um, perfumes, specifically Le Immensité. I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I really like that perfume, but he said that he didn't, so please don't spend on that. So yeah, I did try, um, but I did not succeed. Now, to enter Paris, it was quite easy. The first thing that you need to understand is that we are all vaccinated and all of the adults, uh, which were Polo's parents and Polo and me, we already had the booster too. So yes, to enter France, we needed to prove vaccination. So we did take with us our vaccination cards and we took a COVID test before we took off, like the day before. And of course it was like negative. So we arrived to France and they did check our vaccination cards and then we were able to get in. Now Polo's family, they were able to get the QR code that is the COVID passport online, which was quite easy for them. I was not able to because I was gonna enter with my European passport and for some reason, I just didn't understand, but if you're European, you cannot have your vaccination in the US. You had to have it in Europe in order to get the vaccine passport. So just what we did is that we entered France and the moment that we landed, before we got to the Airbnb, because in Paris we stayed in an Airbnb, we went to the pharmacy and then I got the COVID passport there and it was like 30 euros, which I think that it's not that bad. And that was it. They do ask you for that COVID passport for basically everything. You need it for your hotel to enter any restaurants, etc. So yes, you need to be vaccinated and you need the passport, but it's quite easy to get it. Now, after five days in Paris, we went to Barcelona and we had to take a plane. I would much rather take the train when you're in Europe because it's more comfortable, but you know, it's quite complicated from Paris to Barcelona. We wanted to go to Barcelona because as you guys know, we're planning to probably move to Barcelona. The city is not really set because it all depends on Polo's job so he's looking for something new once we move and if he finds something in France or in Italy or any other city in Spain that's where we're gonna move I have more versatility because I'm gonna try to do this um, social media full-time so I can basically just move to whatever he needs to move so we did want to go to Barcelona because it's our like first option and where we will probably move I'm quite sure of it but it may change and we loved it I mean Barcelona has everything. It's such a historic city. The architecture is beautiful. It has beach, it has sailing, it has the ocean, huge city, a lot to do. The weather was amazing. In Paris, the weather was also pretty good, um, but Barcelona was amazing. But I'm not gonna lie, if you were to give me to choose where I would want to live, ideally, it would probably be somewhere in Italy or Paris. I just has so much to do, the food is always amazing. And I thought that Polo was not gonna be up to moving to Paris, but he said that if he finds a great job there, he would probably do it. So we don't know, maybe it's on the plans, maybe. In in Barcelona, Geraldine went to get the Louis Vuitton perfume and she also got a Tiffany & Co ring. And I think that obviously no one else bought anything. I did went to Jimmy Choo and I found so many shoes that I love. Lately, I'm obsessed with shoes. So apologies in advance if you see me buying shoes from now on a little bit more than I used to. Now, I think that's all for the trip. If you have any questions about it, um, leave it in the comments and I'm gonna make sure to answer it to everyone. Now I wanna talk a little bit more about like life update. To be honest, it's been quite hard since we got back. First of all, because 
I got a little bit depressed when we came back. Um, it's just the contrast of being there and seeing what your life is gonna look like in a couple of months, probably until May or June, for the summer probably. And then come back and see that you have so much school and classes and homework and we have this big exam that we need to present in order to graduate. And this exam is in March. So I hope that you guys send me good vibes because I'm, I'm scared about the exam. So since I got back, it was back to filming and I was delayed on everything all my sponsorships I had I still need to catch up on so many things filming the videos and edit them and my classes now are quite late so I usually I am at bed by 8 so having classes until 10 p.m. and then having to do homework it's been stressing me out apologies in advance if in some weeks I miss to upload a video it's been a mess around here and it's gonna keep being a mess but I hope that after the exam that it's March that it's like throughout April May June it's gonna be a lot of fun because that's gonna be like the moving process and I hope that I'm gonna start filming all of the moving process like packing figuring out how I'm gonna take all of my bags finding a new apartment there really deciding on the city settling down we are already doing so much of what has to be done like preparing ourselves so yeah I've just been a little bit sad stressed and lack of sleep probably so yeah I'm hanging on like this is a lot of fun I think that I don't want anyone to be like oh my gosh um rest or anything like I know that it's a lot but at the same time I know that it's gonna pay off at the end you know like it's a couple of stressful months but once it's done I'm gonna be so happy and I'm gonna be so proud about all of the things that I did so this was the video I hope that you guys enjoyed it I know that it was quite different and I know that I didn't it was not really a vlog it was more like a music video of what we did but I hope that you guys liked it if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching my channel I'm gonna leave you another video right here so please consider checking them out and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye